Okay, so yes, yes, baby boy. I wanted to show you guys, everybody. It is a few days after the coal blast. Um, today it's supposed to get up to 72. Yay, almost back in shorts before New Year's. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. <laughs> but we have been so busy with holidays and this cold and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on everybody. So this is the breast rooster that was over with those guys. Um, we had to separate them. This guy got the crap beat out of him a few days ago. He's looking really good now. Not a lot of blood. He didn't have any like super bad wounds, but he was covered in blood when I came out one night. Um, we gave him two chicks of his own. So, and they're in this separate cage and we put chicken wire on top. Over here is Donald's call ducks and baby boy. Hi, baby boy. Everybody came out fine with the freeze. Hi, sweetie. I know. You're just going to trample over them. <laughs> you have no cares right now, do you? I know. We're going to get the water fixed up, I promise. And then here's the breasts, the other breasts. They're doing great. Um... And then we gave a few of our hens to Uncle Wayne because he wanted some chickens to help with the leftover feed. But here's Stupid's crew and the rest of his ladies. Hello, Sarge. We've inherited a few smaller animals. <laughs> this one right here, that's a bantam. It's from the... Um, from my understanding, the boys that live over here, which we know their parents and whatnot, um, they had a couple of chickens and their dog chased them. So I actually have a hen and a rooster. This one we're nicknaming Smalls. And the rooster is, we're calling it Ruru. It, I'm just like, Ruru's fine. And then... We kind of locked up everybody just to keep them safe. But here's the regular ducks. They're doing great. Oh, there's the rooster. Hey, Ruru. Hi, Ruru. Hi. Anyway, ducks are doing great. They're sun, everybody's sunbathing. Here's the other geese flock and my two turkeys. Hi, guys. Are we warm? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, yes, I'm going to take care of your water, yes, I am, I'm sorry, it, it was just been frozen, <laughs> and then there's the duck group, hi guys, good morning, <laughs> and then, um, I got to get this cage set back up. The older Saramas, they can't handle anything below 50. So for the rest of the next couple of weeks here, temperatures are not going to be as cold. So I got to get their things set back up. But they are over here. We put them in the brooder with a heater. And so my next job here is to get them out of here. Hi guys. Hello. Are you ready to come out of here? I know it's been a long couple of days. But they've had their own little setup there with the heater. Um, this is my neighbor in the back corner that has the emus. This is one of her chickens. Came over. Um, we've been keeping it safe. Here's the baby Saramas. They all survived, doing great. We had a towel in the front to buffer the wind. I put tarps up to buffer the wind, but all the female bunnies, that's Hershey's, 
This is Reese's. This was the mama of the one. Uh, she gave birth to 10. And then this is our original female, Amber. She, they're doing great. Hi, Miss Amber. And then for the cuteness. Look at all the cuteness. So, December. Whoop, don't fall out. Hi, babies. Don't fall out. Hello. 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 Hi, guys. Hello. Sarge. Sarge. Hi guys! Hi. They um, December twenty third was the six week mark, and that was a Friday, and that was when the cold snap started. This is the runt. He's doing great, full belly. Hello, cinnamon and cinnamon. Hi guys! Hello, hello, hello! Look at them all. There's the other calico. Hi guys. I think she I think we do have a set of twins. These two are twins, the two black ones, and then the two calicos. I think she had twins. Hi babies. Hi. Hello. But what we did was um as you know, Buster passed away. Come on guys, watch out. Watch your little nosies and your little pawsies. Hi guys. Um, but they're eating solid foods when we knew the cold snap was coming. So what we did is we took my daughter's old um, rat cage and all 10 were in here and we brought them into our house. So they've been in our house since Friday night and it is now Wednesday morning. It's now good enough where um, we could leave them out and they'll stay out. Um, the temperatures won't get below 50 so they'll be fine. Are you done squawking now? Oh, so that's it. Once the camera's on you, you get all quiet. Yeah? You gonna let me pet you? Give me a Sarge. Oh, pretty boy Sarge. You're wet. You were in the pond, weren't you? Yeah, you're wet. <laughs> but all in all, everything, and at least everybody's doing fine. We added an extra dog house and we opened up the barn. Normally we don't let them, but we'll clean it out this weekend. Oh my goodness. And then we added a dog house in there for baby boy. But, um, yeah, I just got to get the Saramas out of the brooder. Get them back in here. And then I need to take care of the pools because the pools are a mess. Uh, I'm, it is what it is, you know. It, it was so cold. But... It looks like they're pretty de-thawed now, at least today. The last couple of days, they were just super cold. Huh, Sarge? Yeah, even the pond kind of froze, didn't it? Yeah. But you were slipping and sliding on it. Yeah. Don't be embarrassed. It's okay. It happens. Yes. Oh, you beat a pretty boy. Yeah, but... There we go. So, so far, everybody is doing great. So, I'm going to go ahead and get them. Smalls, what are you doing? I see you, Smalls. She slips through all of the fencing. And she's in there digging, but that's okay. We're not too worried about her. And then we're going to go around and um, I'll do a separate video on the plants. So, but yep. That's about it for everybody here. We survived the Arctic blast of December 2022.